The relationship between police officers and priests is one that has often been portrayed in movies and TV series, but a local law enforcement program has brought these two characters together in a new way. Rebecca Drake has the story now of a young priest who is working and walking with police officers to make Springfield neighborhoods safer. It's been featured in the New York Times and on the 60 Minutes television program. But there is a part of Springfield's Counter Criminal Continuum, or C3 policing story, that hasn't been told yet. The role of the local Catholic Church and the young Latino priest who, along with state and city police officers, is helping residents of the city's North End neighborhoods take back their streets. Having Father Yerrick here is, is a blessing. I, how, how else can I say it? One, he's young. Two, he speaks the language. He knows the culture. He knows our customs. As part of a program that depends on the participation of residents in reporting and reducing crime, Father Yerrick Mendez, parochial vicar at Springfield Sacred Heart Parish, says that on the street is where he needs to be. I think as a priest, first and foremost, I represent Christ and his church. And to be a presence in the community in a time when many people have not come to church anymore, um, well, it's time for the church to come to them. That's what Christ did with his disciples. Along with the police officers, Father Yerrick walks through the North End neighborhoods each week, greeting residents and visiting business owners, encouraging them to voice their concerns about crime and safety. To show the community that we are here for you and that we're willing to work with you and that there's a way out of violence, drugs, gangs, and that we can establish relationships of trust and not so much of suspicion uh, with each other. During the neighborhood visits, the priest and the police officers invite people to attend weekly community meetings, like this one held last spring at the Sacred Heart Community Center. Father Europe has become very, very well known now in, in the North End. People are going to him for all sorts of uh, entanglements. During the meetings, police officers, citizens, local students, and representatives of community organizations report on their activities and share concerns and ideas for improving community life. We just want to bring the community more aware that mental illness services. One regular participant in the weekly meetings is Ted Kupak, a longtime resident of the North End. In my neighborhood, which is located right in the center of North End, I seen just about everything you could see. I seen the shootings, I seen a lot of violent uh, domestic problems, a lot of gang problems. And in the three years that the state police and the local police have been working together, I actually saw this diminish, start spreading apart. Diminishing gang activity and gun violence is exactly what the C3 program is designed to do, according to the guy who brought the idea to the Massachusetts State Police Force. 99% of the folks down there don't want gang members or drug dealers in the community. But unwittingly, they passively support the behavior. So what counterinsurgency or the C3 policing does is we want to turn that on its head. We want to isolate the gang member and the drug dealer by, with, and through the community. State Trooper Michael Catone, who also is a Master Sergeant in the U.S. Army Special Forces, thought that the military model that helped deter insurgent attacks in Iraq would work in Springfield. And he was right. One year after the program started, police records showed a significant decrease in gang-related crimes. But the numbers aren't the only things that have changed. This is a very proud neighborhood. These are very proud people. So once you activate that, the success, it breeds more success, positiveness. It does change a community. Having the support and counsel of Father Yerrick and Monsignor George Farland, pastor of Sacred Heart Parish, also is significant for the C3 police officers, most of whom are Catholic. I'm grateful for Monsignor Fallon uh, advocating to get a, 
a newly ordained priest, a Spanish-speaking priest into the area. So we're very grateful. Father Fowler's been supporting us from the very beginning. Uh, Father Yarrick's a wonderful uh, priest. But as much as he has given to the C3 policing program, Father Yarrick says he has received an even greater gift. Just being a part of this program, being a part of these walks, has allowed me to really put a face to the people that I pray for each and every day. And it gives me a renewed sense of purpose and awareness of what's actually going on. What are the needs? And that leaves me a little more open to the Holy Spirit's uh, whispering into my ear saying, this is what you need to be doing. Yeah. The people of the North End would likely agree that this priest is keeping his promise to bring the compassion of Christ to those he serves each day. For Real to Real, I'm Rebecca Drake.